Greetings, everybody. Summer is upon us, which means lots of tasty beverages. And who doesn't love Tahitian treat? An old-time favorite, packed with nothing but artificial flavoring and sugar. But what's better than that? Alcoholic Tahitian treat. Today we're going to look at something that's only available to our friends up north in Canada. So let's dig in to this Canadian Tahitian treat madness. It's a beautiful summer day, so I thought, let's shoot this video outside. So like I said, today we've got Canadian alcoholic Tahitian treat. So I got wind of this maybe a month or so ago, um, living so close to the Canadian border in upstate New York in Buffalo. And I heard about um, what was going on. I'm like, ooh, what, that sounds interesting. So I went up to Canada, to Ontario specifically, and uh, picked some of this stuff up. And I asked the people at the counter about it, and they said they couldn't keep it on the shelves. Uh, for the first month it was out, uh, everyone wanted it. And it kind of reminded me of when uh, alcoholic root beer first hit the U.S. maybe five years ago. And you just, you know, the Not Your Father's brand couldn't keep it on the shelf. So this has kind of had a similar uh, trajectory this first part of the summer. So I just had to get it. Now, first thing of note is this is Tahiti Treat, not Tahitian Treat. This is a unofficial version of the drink, but that's okay. I think that's a miss by the people who own Tahitian Treat, uh, I believe, which is Dr. Pepper. But anyways... Uh, also thing to notice is this is a vodka based alcoholic beverage not malt based. I don't know if that's good or bad or don't even notice but there it is. 5% alcohol by volume so not too bad um, but I think if you pound enough of them you'll feel it. And uh, yeah this definitely has sugar in it as well. This is not one of those no sugar hard seltzers. This is calorie, calorie laden Tahitian treat although I do not know how much calories are actually in it. So today we're going to pound some Tahiti Treat from Canada and I'll also compare it um, to the original Tahitian Treat as a baseline. And then, as another added layer just for science, I'm going to add vodka to Tahitian Treat and compare it to this to see are they the same, is there one better than the other? We'll find out. It's all for science, right? So let's go. Okay. Let's get some Tahiti Treat. Going in my pint glass. Look at that bright, unnatural red color. I have a feeling they do not have this in Tahiti. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think this is native. Look at that. All right. Yum. All right, it's time to dive in and taste the Canadian exclusive Tahiti treat vodka and fruit punch soda. I've got my tiki shirt on because I just think that's what you should do when you drink Tahiti treat or Tahitian treat. Look at this. Smell it. Smells pretty much like Tahiti treat I think but we'll smell the regular one in a sec. Alright. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely taste the alcohol on the back end. There's no doubt about that, but, uh... Yeah, that goes down real easy. Um, and I can, I can certainly taste the fact that it's a vodka uh, mix as opposed to a malt beverage mix. I don't know really how to put that into words, but I can just taste more of a vodka flavor than you would with a malt based wine cooler type beverage or any of those things. Now that's damn good. I drink it all day. I'd be sick, but I would drink it. All right, so now um, let's pop open some original, officially licensed Tahitian treat and compare it to our Canadian alcohol counterpart. All right, time for Tahitian treat fruit punch. Here's the original NA version. Let's see how that pours comparatively. Looks the fucking same. Same bright, obnoxious red flavor. 
Got a little spillage. That's all right. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks the same to me. Oh, yeah. You can't really tell those apart. All right, let's uh, smell regular Tahiti treat. Okay, let's try the alcoholic version on the smell test just to see which ones. They smell very similar. I would say the original Tahitian treat smells a little more fruity, but not by much. So let's taste the original. Tastes delicious. Tastes fruity. Back to the alcoholic. Yeah, they taste very, very similar. I would say the carbonation level is also very similar for what that's worth. Um, but yeah, that's that's really uh, that's quite something. Those Canadian chemists, they cracked the code in Tahiti. That was pretty, uh, pretty impressive. So now let's mix it up and put some vodka in the original Tahitian treat and just see how that compares. Okay, let's get our alcohol. Oh wait, never mind. Wrong one. Okay, I've got three olives, plain vodka, a little over an ounce. Let's pour that in to original Tahitian treat and give it a shot. Okay, original Tahitian treat with an ounce of vodka. Smells literally the same. You cannot smell that there's any alcohol in there. That's pretty damn smooth. I really don't taste the alcohol in that. Like, I don't. Yeah, you really have to try hard to taste that. And I put, like I said, a little over an ounce. Um... Fuck. Damn, that's dangerous. Let's uh, go back to the Canadian exclusive here. Okay. So I would say of the two, you can taste the alcohol more in the Canadian Tahiti Treat vodka and soda canned version as opposed to adding your own vodka into original Tahitian treat for whatever that's worth. I'm going on a limb and saying it's probably also cheaper if you can have, if you can get Tahitian treat in your local market to just put vodka in it than um, the amount of money I paid per can for Canadian Tahiti treat. Plus you can't get Tahiti treat uh, with vodka in the United States anyway, so it's all a moot point. But if you could, Definitely cheaper just to go with adding your own uh, vodka. But listen, the Canadian Tahiti Treat is freaking delicious and uh, very smooth. I would absolutely drink that. I'm going out of town next weekend, and I'm going to take some with me and drink it by the pool. And I have no problem with that, no shame. But the original Tahiti Treat, or Tahitian Treat, with vodka, I'd say a little smoother. You can really barely... It all taste the vodka, which is kind of scary, like I said. So that's about all I've got. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, let's see what else those crazy Canadians come up with next. But thank you very much, Canada, for giving us Tahiti Treat with vodka. They needed a little maple leaf next to this palm tree, though. They did not. That was a fail. Um, missed opportunity there, but... That's all we got for today. Until next time, we'll see you. So, do the Tiki Gods approve of Tahiti Treat? Yes, they do. Cheers.